Hi, this is Professor Horn, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, something that we would do in computer and art class or a digital photography class. And this is a um, selective color method using layer masks. Uh, and you're going to start with a full color image, end up with a black and white image with some selective color. So let's begin. Uh, there are many different ways that you can create uh, uh, an image with selective color, but today I'm going to show you how to do that using um, your layers panel and a layer style menu. Uh, so I've already opened up a full color image here. And in the layers panel, um, down at the bottom, there's an uh, icon uh, for your layers uh, or adjustment layers. Uh, and so if we click on, on this menu, we can um, instantly go to the black and white adjustment layer. Um, and as I zoom out here, you can see that it's changed my image to a black and white image, or it appears to now be a black and white image. The reason, or what is good about using an adjustment layer here, instead of simply changing to a grayscale mode, is that you retain all of the color data and information uh, for your document, in which case that means you can now use that information to edit your black and white image. Uh, so as you can see in the adjustments panel, which is going to help me to edit my, my adjustment layer that I just created. I can now edit each color channel, and you can see as I edit my red color channel, if I move the sliders here, you can see that I have a lot of control over how I edit this black and white image using different color channels. Okay, so what I'm looking for as I make these edits is I want nice bright white areas um, that still retain detail and dark areas that retain detail with some areas of solid black. Okay? Um, and this looks pretty good to me. Okay, since it's an adjustment layer by default, it's given me a layer mask in my layer panel. This mask is what or is a technique that we're going to use to apply the selective coloring. So on the mask, I'm actually going to paint on the mask with my paintbrush tool. So in the um, uh, tool brush, or excuse me, in the toolbars panel, I'm going to get my paintbrush and set my default colors to black and white. So I'm going to touch D on the keyboard, touch X on the keyboard until you get black as a foreground color. And then in the image, I'm going to begin to paint. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see. I'm, gonna, I'm actually painting with black on the mask, and you can see that how, by painting with black on the mask, I'm actually revealing through to the color layer beneath it. Okay. Which has quite a bit of impact in this image here. Now, one benefit, and I'm going to zoom out and zoom back in here, one benefit of using an adjustment layer that has a mask attached to it is that if I make a mistake, say, as I'm painting on my mask, I can simply paint with white and I can correct that mistake. Okay? So th that works really well for details and large mistakes, um, as you just saw there. So let me zoom back out to full frame. And here is a great example of an image that started as full color, we converted it to black and white, and using an adjustment layer, we have now made it a black, uh, a black and white image with selected area of color.